Good evening. Since you're all here early, you, you get to heed this advice if you need to. Uh, ceremony will begin at 7 o'clock on time. Once the processional comes through, the doors will be shut and no one else will be allowed to get in. So if you need to hit the restroom real quick to make sure you can make it, it's out the doorway. Left is the men's and right is the women's. And uh, just make sure that uh, you're back in before the pr processional starts. Thanks.
join me in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallant Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here to give you honor and praise, for it is only through your sufficient grace and mercy that we have come to this point. Thank you, Father, for watching over these graduates during their time at William Carey. Everyone here knows it has been a long and tiresome race for them. There have been nights many of these graduates doubted their ability to finish that race. But during these trials, countless loved ones, friends, mentors, and advisors bolstered them with encouragement and guidance. That is why we must give you all of the glory, Father, because you are the one responsible for bringing these graduates to this moment of rejoicing. Lord, we recognize and praise you for making this night possible, for blessing this community with William Carey University, a special place where your name is ever on the lips of the students, the staff, the faculty, and the administration. We ask you to preside over this joyous ceremony ensuring that each aspect will be conducted according to your divine will. In your precious name we pray, amen. Thank you. Be seated. Good evening. On behalf of our trustees, administration, and faculty, and these graduates, I welcome you to the May 2018 commencement. This is a special time for our graduates and for all of you, their family and friends. For William Carey University, this year will mark another record number of graduates. For the past uh, six years, we have graduated more than a thousand students per year, and we exceed that number again this year. William Carey uh, is a school that these graduates can be proud to have a diploma from. As we proceed through the ceremony, we respectfully ask that you hold your applause, that you not applaud each individual graduate, that you not shout or stomp or make noise in other ways. After all, this is not a rock concert or an athletic event or a Mardi Gras parade. It's a formal academic convocation. And each graduate deserves to hear his or her name called clearly and to have their time in the limelight. And when there's clapping and noise making for each graduate, the next one in line often uh, does not get their moment in the sun. Many parents are here who have sacrificed family members who have supported these graduates, and they deserve to hear their loved one's name call clearly and see their loved one receive their diploma 
without being distracted by shouting and applauding from the previous graduate. When a group of graduates as a group have received their diploma, then we'll give you all the time you want to recognize the group with applause or in any manner that you see for us fit. The platform party tonight is Dr. Gary Breland, the academic vice president, who will present candidates for degrees. Mr. Jim Armstrong, assistant professor of music, led the national anthem and will lead the alma mater at the close of the ceremony. Ms. Pam Shearer, director of alumni affairs, will welcome graduates into the Alumni Association. Dr. Frank Ball, Dean of the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences, gave the invocation. Dr. Cindy Scott, <coughs> Program Director for Physical Therapy, will give the benediction. Nick Jocelyn, who is a student uh, performance major, is our organist. Dr. Daniel Caldwell, Professor of Religion, is the Faculty Marshal, and Dr. Tim Glaze, Director of the VSU and Assistant Professor of Religion, is the Student Marshal. I want to uh, recognize our trustees. If there are any trustees in the audience, would you stand and let us recognize you? There are none here tonight. These trustees give of themselves their time uh, in order to make William Carey what it is. Our speaker tonight is Mayor, Mayor Hal Marks, the mayor of Petal. He was elected mayor of the city of Petal in 2009 and is currently serving the city for his third term. He led the recovery efforts, efforts in the aftermath of two devastating tornadoes that hit the city in 2013 and again this past year in 2017. During his time in office, he has overseen tremendous commercial growth within the city. He has twice been elected president of the Pine Belt Mayor's Association and currently serves on the board of directors of the Mississippi Municipal League. Mayor Marks is a graduate of the University of Southern Mississippi with a uh, bachelor's degree in political science with major in history, and he earned his Master of Education degree from William Carey University in 2002. He is married to Mindy, Mindy, would you stand? She's here with me. Welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> and they have three sons. It's an honor to have Mayor Marks, and would you please join me in welcoming him to the podium? Thank you, Dr. King, and uh, I know that these ceremonies need to go on schedule, so I promise I won't be more than 30 minutes. I'm going to try to get this done. I actually be a lot shorter than that, so don't worry. Uh, I'm deeply honored to be here tonight. Uh, as Dr. King said, 16 years ago, I was here in this building receiving my Master's of Education degree from William Carey. I just want to say that when they called me to come speak tonight, I was uh, very honored, but at first I was a little worried that maybe they, they realized there was a mistake and they need me to give the degree back. So I'm glad they didn't ask for that. I am honored to be here tonight on this special occasion. The graduates here behind me, we're here to celebrate their accomplishment. And they have worked very hard, and I, I know because I've been through the programs, but they've put in many hours studying, writing papers, attending classes, and many of them did this while holding down full-time jobs and caring for families, because a lot of these I know are students who've been out in the workforce already. So to be able to make this as an accomplishment is, is even more because of the way they've had to do it. So congratulations to all of our graduates tonight on their uh, great achievement. 
Now that they have their graduate degree, though, some of you may be wondering, okay, what comes next? What am I going to do with my new degree and the status that comes with it? According to the Census Bureau, 21% of Americans have a college degree. Only about 9% of those over the age of 25 have a master's degree. So they're now in a pretty elite category, top 9% of our country. John Dewey said, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. Benjamin Franklin remarked that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest, and certainly both were correct. However, as you go out into the workforce armed with your degree, it will take more than the paper it's written on to be successful. Simply hanging your diploma on the wall will not be enough. It's what you do with it that counts. Calvin Coolidge understood that. He was our 30th president. He wasn't known for saying a lot of words. He was known as Silent Cow, but every once in a while he said something that made sense. One thing he did say was that nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. He said talent will not because nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not because unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not because the world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination, he said, alone are omnipotent. Persistence is a virtue. How many successful people, whether it be in business, government, or entertainment, or leadership, have failed at their first attempt to achieve their goals? Clint Eastwood was once told by a casting director in Hollywood that he would never make it. He's gone on to be very successful in Hollywood and won an Academy Award as a director. Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, failed at several attempts as a salesman and entrepreneur before he franchised the world's most successful fast food chain. Both he and Clint Eastwood did not quit when they were told that it would be difficult to achieve their goal. A little more personal example, the first time I ran for political office, I finished a strong eighth out of eight candidates. <clears throat> the next time I ran for office, some years later, I also faced uh, some tough odds. I would go into neighborhoods and see my opponent's signs everywhere and thought, there's no way I've got a chance to win this. But I was persistent. I went to people's doors, I knocked on doors, I talked to them, and I was fortunate enough to be elected. You can't let the fear of failure stop you from pursuing your goals. There's no guarantee of success, but you must be willing to try. Never sell yourself short or listen to others who try to discourage you from pursuing your dreams. I was told the theme for this year on campus has been God's refuge and strength. It comes from Psalms 46, verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? There are many things we sometimes fear, snakes, heights, the dark. Some folks today tell us to be afraid of the future. They say that disasters await us because of climate change or possibly an asteroid might one day hit the earth. We may also fear taking the next step in our career or venturing into a whole new arena or going back to school for another degree. But God tells us not to fear. He knows what he has in store for us, and he will be with us through it all. I believe God opens doors and presents us with opportunities, but so many times we fail to recognize the opportunity for what it is. We are afraid to step out of our comfort zone and take a chance. I spent 11 years teaching government and economics in the classroom. In economics, my students learned the concept of risk versus reward. Entrepreneurs and capitalists who put forth the most risk on investments stand to reap the biggest rewards. They also, of course, might lose the most money, and that's why it's called a risk. But life is indeed full of uncertainty, but one thing is certain. If you do not take any risk, you will not receive any reward. So to the graduates, as you go forward from this day with your new degree in hand, I hope that you set high goals and be prepared to take a risk. I believe God has brought you to this point in your life for a reason. He has great things in store for you, I know. So congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Marks, for your challenge to our graduates and our guests this evening. I welcome you to this graduate level ceremony. Your presence here tonight helps make this a very special occasion for these men and women who are receiving their master's degrees. 
Uh, these are professional educators and counselors who have already touched the lives of many people. And now they go on with a new degree to be able to make an even greater difference in their communities, in their schools, in their, in their homes. And we're very proud of each of them. William Carey University offers undergraduate, graduate, and professional degree programs in a variety of disciplines. Tonight, we are awarding the Master of Education degree and the Master of Science degree. Before presenting the graduates, I remind you to please refrain from applauding individual graduates, and I will give you an opportunity to applaud at the end of each group. To present candidates for the Master of Education degree, I recognize Dr. Ben Burnett, Dean of the School of Education. Would the candidates from the School of Education please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all requirements for their respective degrees, and the faculty of the School of Education and I recommend them to you for conferral of their degree. Thank you, Dr. Burnett. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees you, which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? <coughs> Suzanne Sanders Agent, Master of Education. J.C. Coker Anderson, Master of Education. Kimberly Summers Baker, Master of Education. Clifford Jews Bauer III, Master of Education. Alina Canise Bolin, Master of Education. Mary Amanda Cobia, Master of Education. Jody Elaine Conway, Master of Education. Amy Lynn Davis, Master of Education. Aubrey Weems Davis, Master of Education. Mitzi Michelle Davis, Master of Education. Malcolm Diaz, Master of Education. Katie Easterling, Master of Education. Jonathan Toriano Edwards, Master of Education. Tiffany Laura Farmer, Master of Education. Lauren Douglas Farrar, Master of Education. Ashley Brewer Foreman, Master of Education. Ada Madeline Freeman, Master of Education. Janet Jones French, Master of Education. Lucas Eugene Gandy, Master of Education. Danielle Ruthann Garland, Master of Education. Melanie D. Gibbs, Master of Education. Thomas F. Giles, Master of Education. Deborah Suzanne Gerard, Master of Education. Rebecca Glaze, Master of Education. She will be presented her diploma cover tonight by her father, Dr. Tim Glaze. Lisa Ann Geis, Master of Education. Emily L. Herring, Master of Education. Nicole Lee Jackson, Master of Education. Shelby Alicia Jones, Master of Education. Chesney Rion Keeler, Master of Education. Christy Leanne Kirkwood, Master of Education. Terry Lynn Leffler, Master of Education. James Austin Longmire, Master of Education. Jennifer Lee Malone, Master of Education. 
Danielle Manasco, Master of Education. Jacqueline Martin, Master of Education. Brittany Nicole Matthews, Master of Education. Taylor McAllister, Master of Education. Mercedes Marie McCree Weekly, Master of Education. Latoya McGill, Master of Education. Michaela Cooper McNeese, Master of Education. Vivian Christine Menica, Master of Education. Marianne Mooney, Master of Education. Francis Kate Sowell Moore, Master of Education. Kendall Marie Morgan, Master of Education. Crystal Aranda Millsap Mosley, Master of Education. Powell Nguyen, Master of Education. Shannon Odom, Master of Education. Angela Parker, Master of Education. Candace Alicia Pierce, Master of Education. Jessica B. Powell, Master of Education. Audrey Victoria Reed, Master of Education. Andrea Robbins, Master of Education. Stephen Andrew Scott, Master of Education. Kelly Delane Smith, Master of Education. Christy Ann Fleming Stevens, Master of Education. Lindsay Breland Stogner, Master of Education. Allison Nicole Sturm, Master of Education. Myrica Tate, Master of Education. Amal Jervon Thompson, Master of Education. Cheryl Denise Touchstone, Master of Education. Robertsenia Lynette Wade, Master of Education. Dernita F. Williams, Master of Education. Harley Jarrett Wyndham, Master of Education. Heather Megan Whitner, Master of Education. Please join me in congratulating these educators. To present candidates for the Master of Science degrees this evening, I recognize Dr. Frank Baugh, Dean of the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences. Will the candidates from the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all requirements for their respective degrees, and the faculty of the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences recommend them to you for conferral of their degree. Thank you, Dr. Baugh. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Would the candidates please come forward? Leticia Sharice Barnes, Master of Science. Victoria Delane Bender, Master of Science. Rhonda Dickerson Brewer, Master of Science. Jessica Nicole Foster, Master of Science. Karen Michelle Golson, Master of Science. Patricia Yvette January, Master of Science. 
Jennifer Livingston LaFan, Master of Science. Nikitha Nixon, Master of Science. Kathy Darlene Ulland, Master of Science. Scotty Wayne Wade, Master of Science. Please help me congratulate these graduates, all of whom. Let's give all the graduates one more round of applause. After much hard work and dedication, you've earned your William Carey University degree. Welcome to the Alumni Association. You are now part of more than 25,000 alumni worldwide. To maintain your relationship with your alma mater and your fellow alumni, I encourage you to participate in the Alumni Association. As an active member, you will be doing your part to make Carey and the alumni network stronger. You are Cary Ambassadors, both within your profession and to prospective students. You are Cary Strong. I find comfort in the words in Deuteronomy 31. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Congratulations, William Cary University, class of 2018. Again, we congratulate these graduates for their outstanding achievement. Uh, please uh, remain seated until the graduates have recessed the auditorium and then uh, be safe as you leave the campus to travel home. Stand for the singing of our alma mater, please. William Carey, we will love thee, loyal we will be, and we will ever sing thy praises, hail all sons and daughters, sons crusaders all. Thou hast taught us love and honor, taught us truth and right, while fitting every new crusader with thine armor bright. May the God who Spirit on the mother ever dwell with thee. Please bow with me for the benediction. May God's blessing rest on each one of you. May God's light shine on you and make your path clear. May hope carry you through the challenging times, and gratitude be your response when life is good. May your days be filled with curiosity and adventure, and may you discover the incomparable joy of living lives that bring honor and glory to God. Amen. Amen.